Well, this is Chris Prince from Slash Gear. We're looking at right now is Google Maps, the newest Google Maps that is available sort of in a beta mode right now. We're looking at a Chromebook Pixel, so we're looking at it in Chrome web browser, Chrome OS, and with a touchscreen uh, display. It's in super high definition as Chromebook Pixel is want to show. And what we're going to do here is we're in San Francisco right now, but what we want to do is take a look. Let's go ahead and search for Google Headquarters. Quarters. Now, if we search for Google Headquarters, it'll give us this information right here. Now, what we've got here is several different locations around the area that uh, have to do with Google Headquarters. Obviously, right here, we have uh, information about how Larry Page and Sergey Brin are there. If we tap on it, it'll bring us more information about that. But what we're going to do is actually go to this uh, cafe that's inside. Now, if I tap on that cafe, tap it one more time here if we can. We're going to get more information about that cafe. What pops over here is uh, several things from what you don't, you'd otherwise see on sort of Google Now if you're on uh, uh, your Android device. You have cards. Now, this card right here shows four Street View. It has uh, Street View views, which you can also see down here, and several reviews of this restaurant. You also have the ability to get directions from here and to save that as, your, uh, as a favorite. Now, if I want to look at views around the city here, or around this area specifically, I can tap on one of these images down here. And what's going to happen here is it's going to automatically, hopefully, cycle through different versions of what uh, has been presented by people who have submitted images to this uh, area. Now, this one, it's not going to switch because this one is a photosphere. Now, this photosphere was photographed by someone using an Android device, using with Jelly Bean or higher, uh, taking all these images one by one to sort of make their own street view look. Now, if I type over here to Google Greenery, this is another view of the area. Now these all go through, uh, sometimes when you click these, they go through uh, automatically and kind of cycle through different views of where you are. Now, if you also want to find stuff like, let's see, let's go like this. Sushi, San, Fran, San Francisco. Of course, if I had spelled it right, it would work better. But if I go like this, it'll work. Now, what you're seeing here is a bunch of different places you can get sushi around where we are. Now, if I cycle in here, again, this isn't going quite as quick as it normally would on your, your device, since we are sort of tethered separate uh, from the device itself. But we're going to go ahead and go to this one. If I tap, type on Blowfish Sushi, I'll get information about that sushi place. If I let this load for a sec here. There we go. Let's go ahead and type, click on this one. What you're going to see here is uh, information right here uh, that's similar to what we just found about the, uh, the previous result we got in, inside Google. Uh, this is a restaurant instead. So what you get over here is, is I get re results as well as reviews. Uh, directions again, save information about the, the uh, location, and more. Let's check it out. This is our first look at the new Google Maps. This is going to be ro rolled out to users uh, throughout the rest of the year. So check it out.